and welcome to the talk right here on Oman Daily Observer. I'm Lakshmi Kanthanath. Today we are here, the wonderful place everyone wants to be and ought to be, and this is the Royal Opera Muscat. And joining us now is someone very exceptional, and he is uh, Dr. Nasser bin Hamid Al Tai. He's uh, advisor to the Board of Education and uh, Outreach. And this is an integral part of the whole concept of Royal Oprah because I understand, Dr. Nasser, welcome to the program, first Thank of all. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. The whole vision of His Majesty, Sultan Qaboos, is to reach out to everyone in Oman and I think to the whole world with the language of culture and art. I think this is a landmark uh, in, uh, in celebrating the arts. It's an amazing place uh, that brings people together at the highest level uh, in order to celebrate music and the arts, which is something that all humans have in common. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, a, it's a strategic philosophy that Oman embraces, which is to bring people together through the arts. Uh, this is uh, uh, in addition to the various concepts of tourism and and uh, and uh, various trainings and uh, and uh, symposiums and conferences that are devoted to tolerance and love and humanity that his majesty has always been uh, the the torch behind uh, such events uh, and right from the beginning 2011 is when it all happened for everyone to come and see this wonderful place and get introduced to the concept but right from the beginning education and outreach was very much there Yes, I think it's important, uh, not uh, as many believe that this is a new culture and a new concept because music has been with, has been with us in the Omani society uh, for many, many generations. But to be able to expose our audience to the variety and the diversity of the types of music, the more we know about a uh, type of music or a genre, mm -hmm. the more uh, we become uh, aware of it and have deeper appreciations for it. That's why we have the tours to come uh, for students, that that's why we have the student events, that's why we have educational and family events, and that's why we have uh, pre-performance talks that have been extremely popular to inform our audience about the programs that we do. Uh, now, are there a lot of opportunities for Omani artists? Yes, we do that uh, on several occasions. We have the night of Inchad where Omanis are always representative. We have the celebration of Omani women where we try to celebrate the achievements of, uh, of women uh, through uh, the participation of uh, women musicians. And we have uh, an event in the past that we used to refer to it as uh, by and from children, where we make sure that Omani children are involved, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in variety of ways, uh, such as the participation of the uh, Royal Oman Symphony Orchestra uh, as uh, as a an orchestra that would accompany some of the events. This has started right from day one when uh, when after showing uh, the the opening uh, of Turandot, uh, obviously. Uh, Placido Domingo, who was conducting the opera, okay. became became the solo artist presenting a, an opera gala, and and the orchestra was accompanying him. So. Uh, and I think uh, also the National Day celebration, where people get excited because the exactly the, uh, yes, the army of course, band the, is out the military there. Uh, yes. uh, the military bands mm -hmm. with all its divisions and and uh, and various types of music perform in a glorious day. Uh, Outside in the Medan, the participation of more than 800 soldiers, I think, is just such an amazing uh, event that re reflects uh, how uh, how entrenched music is in our society and how and how popular uh, uh, it is. Now, the season in September. Yes. That's what excitement is all about right now. Yes. That's what Oman is talking about. What should we be expecting that's different from last year? I think there will be lots of comedies uh, in terms of the uh, operatic and stage presentations. And for education, I think we, I have alluded to uh, a new opera specially designed for children. Um, and uh, it would be a, a collaborative and interactive opera um, with hundreds of students uh, participating in the actual performance. Uh, of, of the opera so they will not just be 
uh, passive audience attending uh, the opera, which is also a great addition for them. But now they get the chance to sing and to participate, dress the part of several mm -hmm. of these characters. And so it's going to be... Uh, Here in Amman, children? Uh, yes, yes. We, uh, we are now working with the uh, Ministry of Education to... to uh, uh, to start from day one and of the next academic year on training really? and, and, and informing the students about this opera uh, by giving uh, special courses to the teachers who would be transferring that knowledge to them and when they come in in April they would uh, they would be ready to, perform. ready to perform. Wow that sounds amazing. So you're also training the teachers? Yes of course because the teachers are uh, our tools uh, since we cannot go to every single uh, a school, uh, we will help the teachers with the parts and with the music and give them all the tools that they need to do in terms of designing a costume or uh, sometimes some tools that they bring with them that stands for each character. Mm -hmm. They in turn takes this to their students and to the schools and, uh, and uh, rehearse it. We need to keep up with this with you. We need <laughs> to follow this movement and by April we ought to be ready to watch them all in action. It would be great. And the good news is, uh, before uh, it was about 46 countries and last year you had 40, 57 countries <laughs> Yes, it just keeps, uh, it, it keeps getting uh, bigger and bigger. Uh, Oman is also becoming uh, a great spot for tourism and cultural diplomacy and this is what this place is all about. It's, uh, it's a place where we celebrate our diversity and shared human values. So. Fantastic. On that note, Dr. Nasr al -Tai, I want to say thank you so much for joining us here on Let's Talk. You're most welcome. Thank, thank you. you. So that's the latest from the Royal Opera House Muscat. And our guest here, Dr. Nasr al -Tai, advisor to the Board for Education and Outreach. We'll be back next week with something interesting and with more facts right here on The Talk. Omar Observer. I'm Lakshmi Karthanet. Thank you for joining us.